you're mistaken. If you think that words will bring you closer to the kingdom of God that's already within your heart. Rather explore silence, explore stillness, and in doing so, when you quiet the mind, you unite with the very kingdom of God that was always already within your heart, but that your mind was making too much noise to hear the music. Every heartbeat is already ineffable perfection. Relax into the art. The very subtle art of just being, of just awareness, of just I am. before you color it with experience, with symbols, with describing, before you add layers of identity and condition yourself to those layers of identity and then create suffering from that. So the pure, bare, empty heartbeat itself, awareness, being, I am itself. Always already, eternally free. Then you add your layers of identity,
and you contract your energy and you move away from the perfection that you already are into some sort of distorted representation of the infinite fractal. Can you get so subtle that every time your heart beats that you feel the perfection? Can you get so silent and so still that you feel the perfection that's always already there? Are you always already free? Or are you a slave to your own creation? To your own manipulations and distortions that your noisy mind relentlessly toils you around in. Is your nature freedom? Is your nature perfection? If you know it, then you're free. Then you're enlightened. Free perfection. Ineffable nothingness and infinity. Sat-chit-ananda. Your very existence itself is ineffable bliss and peace. But your mind, with its distortions and its conditioning, has taken you hostage. You've become a slave to identity personhood, of desires, of aversion. What if you were completely empty? What if you were completely hollow? What if you cleaned out that distorted, clogged up pipe. And if you allowed divinity to just channel through you, what if you allowed the very sourceful I am to channel through you. But no, you don't want to die before you die. You're attached to the identity of your personhood. It's all of those onion layers of conditioning. to liberate yourself is to go in go in recognize that you are the source of awareness and realities you are the big bang you're not a person you're the big bang talking to itself you're the big bang playing with itself you're the big bang exploring with itself take 
that perspective. Stop taking the person perspective. You're killing yourself. You're killing your family, you're killing your community, you're killing the world. All your suffering that you're catalyzing because you're stuck in personhood. You are the Big Bang at play with itself. Every single person, object, experience is all you. Everything is you. And you're also the very nothingness that gives rise to it. you hear the background music? The omnipresent energy, it's everywhere. But do you feel it? Are you at one with it? Or are you scattered as fuck? Every heartbeat is perfection to those that are sensitive enough to know it. Why are you so arrogant that you think that words can take you to the nothingness that you emerged from? Isn't it common sense that you have to shut the fuck up you have to learn how to be silent and still for you to know the empty source that you originated from? Pretty common sense. Still yourself repeatedly. Noisy people stay still, hone in on the breath. Watch what happens.
Do you feel it? Always already perfect. Moving forward, this channel is going to be more and more purely dedicated to being in service to everyone that watches. To help them feel the already present happiness peace perfection and freedom that this already is that we already are So you have a slot, a little bit of time. Rather than looking at your phone and social media, rather than filling that slot of time with something that you have to do for work, or a chore. What I want you to practice doing is to just be. During that slot of time, just be. Have you completely atrophied what it means to just be, to where you don't even know what I'm talking about? If you're like, what does he mean by just be? Reflect on that. That means you haven't stopped doing for years.
and you forgot how to just be. So what does that mean? Stand right here, leaned up against the tree in your neighborhood. And breathe. Just breathe and enjoy being and enjoy being aware. And if your mind is noisy and it's dragging you around to different thought clouds, Double down on the breath. Double down on being the sky of awareness in which the thought clouds appear and disappear. More and more you'll create enough of a juxtaposition where you can abide more and more as the pure, bare, empty sky in just being. So stand or sit for a minute. Just breathe. If your noisy mind tries to drag you around, double down on the breath. Become more and more empty of the thought clouds and just recognize I exist. I am the very fact that I am. Like in Exodus 3.14, God telling Moses, I am that I am. The very fact that I am is God. My very heartbeat itself is God. Luke 17, 21, the kingdom of God within you, the kingdom of God within you. Tatvam Asi, you are that. I'm the absolute? Yes, you are. This is an appearance of the highest. You are the highest appearing right now. That's what this is. So melt and relax into being the absolute. Melt and relax into awareness. You are the absolute observing its creation. So just relax into being and practice that. And you'll notice more and more, why have I atrophied my ability to just be? Do I even know how to sit on my living room couch without looking at my smartphone? So if the answer to that question is no, you have a problem. What's the first step? We admit 
that we have a problem. And that's the turn inward. And as you do that, you begin unlocking the well of honey, of peace and happiness that was always present in your being and in your awareness, in your very existence, but that your noisy mind of constantly, I must go do this, I must go do that, do 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 And you wonder why there's so many mental health issues. Learn to be silent. Learn to be still. Learn to just be. And in that process, you will unite more and more with the true essence of your non-distorted nature. Can you feel the natural awe and peace? and happiness, and bliss, and joy, wonder of the child. Do you know how to simply stretch your body? Is your mind toiling you around so much that you're completely neglecting your spine, neglecting your knees, neglecting your hips, neglecting your neck, neglecting your wrists, your fingers, your feet? Maybe it's time to get a massage. Maybe it's time to go to the chiropractor. Maybe it's time to stop eating junk food. High fructose corn syrup, fast food. Maybe it's time to learn how to cook. Maybe it's time to learn how to stop watching propaganda, how to stop watching polarization. Maybe it's time to stop using social media. And maybe it's time to get really good at learning how to hollow oneself out, how to empty oneself out. How to become a clean pipe. The flow of source, the flow of the divine is always there. You've clogged up your pipe with all your onion layers of conditioning. How do you unclog? Empty. Empty yourself out. You're not those thoughts. 
So what are you? Just being. Just awareness. I amness. That we all share. That's God. And this is but a manifestation of infinity, of our true nature, for us to witness, for us to explore, for us to play, for us to create. I'll keep working on content that simplifies down a lot of what I've been uncovering and become more purely in service to those here that are seeking the peace and happiness that's already around their neck, already in that perfect heartbeat, every second, perfection, perfection. Perfection. <laughs>